Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some product empties that I have used up in the past couple of months. So I have typically over the past few years now been documenting my empty products on my blog, but I think that doing it in video format and then having all of the links and including the video in a blog post is going to be the way I'm going to do it moving forward. Not only is it going to help me create more content for YouTube, but I think it's also helpful to hear me talk about some of the products um, instead of just writing things out. So without further ado, let's get into the different categories of empties. So first category we're going to get into today is sheet masks. So starting off with these ones from pharmacy, these are the hydrating coconut gel masks and the brightening coconut gel mask. And I love these. These are my all time favorite sheet masks. Um, they just feel so nice on your skin and they are, I just love pharmacy as a brand in general. So big fan of these. This one, um, so there's actually only one more sheet mask. This one from Loops Beauty. Um, I actually just used this the other day and I did a little review on my Instagram story about it. And I have a couple more of these because they were on sale at Nordstrom. It was like a pack of them um, that I got uh, during like their after holidays sale and I really liked this it definitely made my skin look and feel a lot brighter um, I liked using it I used it in like mid-morning and then I went out a little bit later and I just felt really nice um, my skin definitely looked brighter. So next up we have some eye masks. These are from Wander Beauty. This is their baggage claim gold eye mask. You can see what it looks like. I posted a picture on Instagram of me using them um, when we were in Big Bear in November and you know not anything super special but definitely really cute for a picture. And then this was my last of these. This is the Honest I want to pronounce it weird, but Honest Hazel eye masks. Um, these are made with cactus collagen, aloe vera, and vitamin C and E. And the packaging of these is so bad. I know that they've also rebranded, so I'm pretty sure that they have a different name now. I'm pretty sure it's like H Hazel, H Hazel or something like that. Um, but the packaging is so bad. You like can barely pull the, um, this like, sheet part off of the plastic it's like impossible so i as you can see i like literally had to cut it up um to get those out of there but two non-sheet masks as well this is the coco kind and shut the kale up sea kale clay mask i really like this it does not get too dry on your skin that is no good especially if you already have dry skin even if you're trying to dry out like a breakout or something not good if your clay masks are like super dry on your skin to the point where you can't move your face because just think about all the moisture is literally getting sucked out of your skin not good so i really like this because it does not do that it does not make your skin feel too dry or too tight um so i usually will use this for like 15 20 minutes and then get in the shower and just rinse it off that's usually my go-to with a um a clay mask or any mask that's not a sheet mask i use it before i shower on a day i'm washing my hair because then it doesn't matter if it gets in your hair when you're putting it on but i really like this um, this one, the brightening mask from Revive, I got this when I was doing, um, I like went to a facial appointment with them and it is a gold, I think there's still a little left in here maybe, it's like a gold mask. I honestly didn't really see great results from this, um, but I really like there's this applicator that it came with that is on one it's like a silicone applicator brush on one side it's ribbed and then the other side is smooth and I like using that when I'm applying other masks um because it just feels really nice and a little luxurious when you're putting on a mask with a brush so we have two products in the cleanser category this is the summer friday super amino gel cleanser i am absolutely obsessed with the summer friday's jet lag mask i've been using that now for quite some time i think i got my first tube of it in 2018 which i believe is when they came out with it um i also love their overtime mask their lip butter balm is so good i use that every night before bed and throughout the day um this i honestly didn't see i feel like with cleansers it's kind of hard to tell if you're seeing results from it because i also use a lot of active skincare products so 
it's kind of hard to tell, you know, if this is actually like clearing my skin or if it's the products I'm putting on after because those are actually staying on and this is only on for like a minute and I'm washing my face. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I really like the packaging and I like this as a brand overall. So this is just a pretty, you know, straightforward cleanser option if you're looking for something, um, you know, that's not anything I feel like too special. Similarly, this is the Kinship Naked Papaya. This is a gentle enzyme face cleanser. So this one actually um, has some, I, I don't wanna speak to it exactly because I'm not 100% sure, but because it says it's an enzyme face cleanser, this one would be like a little bit more on the active side, but just looking at the ingredients, it's a lot of um, like fruit extracts. And I was not, I mean, I figured, it said it was a papaya cleanser. I figured it would have a scent, but the scent was a little bit um, like juvenile to me. It smells a little bit young. Um, and I honestly don't really love when skincare products are scented, especially not ones that are going to stay on my face. Since this is a cleanser, I didn't really mind too much, but this is like a, you can still see, I literally finished up the last of it this morning. I mean, there might even be enough for one more use, but it's like a light pink color. It's pretty, um, but I also am trying to stay away from using things that are in plastic containers and opt for stuff that's in glass instead. All right, we've just got two products in the makeup category because wearing makeup is a very rare occurrence for me. So these are both mascaras. This is the Ilia, I believe it's called the Limitless Lash um, mascara. And this is in the color, yeah, Limitless Lash. And this is in the color After Midnight, it's just their black. I really, really like this. I really like the brush um, of this. It applies really well no clumps or anything so i can definitely see myself repurchasing this one um right now i'm testing out the kosas mascara and i really like this one as well but i can definitely see myself going back to this i typically this is a tip especially in this quarantine time um where i'm not wearing makeup that often i like buying travel sizes of mascara i know it's not the most cost effective but I feel like because I think that one of these like if you bought two it's like a little bit more than buying the full size one but for me just because I'm not wearing makeup you know more than a couple like maybe three or four times a month and it's really just when I'm like filming things um it's just not worth it to buy a full size that's just gonna dry up or you know go funky or something within a short period of time so i like buying small ones because i feel like i can actually use up the full product but another one i actually didn't like this one very much this is the tarte surfer curl mascara this one i think was like a 100 point perk at sephora and i had it um it like got super gloopy towards the end and just like yeah it was not not it, it's like flaking out, but I just didn't like this one, but I would definitely recommend this Ilia one. Next category is going to be hair. Um, like so many other people, I have not gotten a haircut now in over a year. We're like approaching a year and a half because of the pandemic. Um, hair salons have been closed for most of that time in Los Angeles and they were open for a small period of time, but I, have been doing everything I can to stay safe so I haven't gone so my hair is definitely very much on the long side um but I do my best to take care of it and keep it healthy but I think we're getting to the point where I'm going to have to like trim it myself because or have a friend trim it or something or my boyfriend I don't know if I trust him to be honest but we'll see um but I have just been focusing on using um as little heat as I can on my hair and just you know taking care of it i'm totally blanking on the name of this conditioner brand um it will come to me probably at some point when i'm filming but I, like i said i will have everything linked um in my blog post with photos and everything will be like broken up into the sections that i'm talking about right now so it should be easy for you to find links to anything but this is a conditioner i did really like it and i like that the um plastic is a lot oh seed phytonutrients i'm pretty sure that that's what it is i just remembered um they're actually based in pennsylvania in a town that's not too far um from where i grew up so that is cool um but i really like this conditioner um again kind of the same way i feel about cleanser it's not really 
you know so much about what you're putting in your hair if it's something you're gonna rinse out um same as i feel about a cleanser or a body wash but it's more about what products you're gonna put in your hair after that's actually gonna stay in um you know after you dry it but on that note to this is a lightweight conditioner this is from dry bar this was just like a sample that i had um this is the on the rocks and nothing nothing to write home about to be honest um but i do really like this mask from briogeo this is their don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and i can see myself getting a bigger um size of this i've gotten like small ones of this for like 100 point perks and i think they did it for a birthday perk at sephora and i can see myself getting a bigger size of this one at some point um two more actually briogeo briogeo products this one has like some residue all over it but this is their rosarco blow dry perfection and heat protectant cream um and i definitely want to pick up another one of these i have something else that's pretty similar to this that i'm using up that i had um in back stock once i finished this so i will be purchasing this because it is so important to use heat protectant on your hair regardless of whether or not um you are you know getting it cut regularly that's one of the biggest ways to keep it safe from heat damage my hair right now does need to be washed it's been like a couple days but really like this um another briogeo product is this scalp revival charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment um i have seborrheic dermatitis which is light i mean i i don't want to get into all that but i it's like dandruff but it is like not like dandruff because if I pick my scalp too much it will bleed um and that's something I've had for a really long time so I have been trying to find products over the years that work um but I do switch things out pretty regularly just because my hair will get used to it and then it will get like flaky um and that's not not the move so I like this for after I shower this is something I have been using actually for a couple years now um, you just use this when your hair is wet and like put it in your scalp and rub it through um, and then I blow dry my hair after that last hair product this is the Dove refresh and care volume and fullness dry shampoo nothing special I honestly don't use dry shampoo very much anymore just because one I'm not going anywhere um, two I my hair just doesn't really get oily that much so it's just not super necessary and I just don't put a lot of effort into what my hair looks like to be totally honest with you all right we are nearing the end we have got some body products up next these are two from Necessaire this is their body lotion and their body serum I really love Necessaire products. I have a new um, body lotion right now. They're actually also available at Sephora, so you don't have to buy them directly if you don't want to. Um, you can go and pick them up in Sephora. I know you can't try stuff out right now there, but I really like this. This is their fragrance-free lotion. I believe that they also have scented lotions. Um, I'm actually using their scented, one of their scented body washes right now, and I really like it, but I love, 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 love this lotion. It just you know gets the job done pretty straightforward lotion product um i also really like their body serum but this one is on the pricier side so i don't really know if it's something i would repurchase um because i do really like in the summertime in normal life i like using body oil in the summer um especially if i'm going somewhere like if i shaved my legs and i want to put something on um after i get out of the shower i like using a body oil on because it just makes my legs look a little bit shinier and nicer um so i really like using a body oil this one's from folane and i really like the way this one smelled so i think i would purchase this one again two more we have this body wash this is the seaweed bath company purifying body wash um it's in the rosemary and mint scent and i did really like this not anything too special you can get this at whole foods and one more this is the flamingo foaming shave gel that i actually need to go purchase like a full size of this because i don't have any more
We are at skincare, which is one of my favorite categories, um, probably my second favorite after masks. I'm going to start off with these two products from the Inky list. These are both really well priced. They're available at Sephora. I believe they're both under $10. This is their Hyaluronic Acid and their Alpha R Butin. Um, I, last time I went to Sephora, they actually did not have any more of the Alpha R Butin, which is good for um, brightening up dark spots, but I actually don't think I'll repurpose this or repurchase this right now because I'm using Faded by Topicals, which I have a full blog post review on. Um, I'm really loving that for fading hyperpigmentation and dark spots that I have from past breakouts. Um, but this is a similar product. It's actually, so if you're maybe not ready to make the plunge because I think that that's like $40, um, you can get this because it's a little on the cheaper side, but I really love their hyaluronic acid. I have another one, I used it this morning um, and I keep it in the fridge. So we have two toners. This one is the Moon Juice Beauty Shroom Exfoliating Acid Potion. This is a 25% acid complex and I believe that it has, um, BHAs and AHAs in it. I honestly don't remember because this, came in like a box so it doesn't have the ingredients on it but um I really like this it was just at the I had to like dump some of it out at the bottom unfortunately and that did suck because this was a pricey product but I was just not using it up um and I think it was like spoiled but I do really like Moon Juice's beauty product so maybe I will repurchase this at some point in the future but a cheaper option that could work for you is the Coco Kind Raspberry Vinegar Toner. Um, and this is really great if you have breakouts. I would not recommend spraying this directly onto your skin. Spray it onto a reusable cotton pad. If you don't have those, use a regular um, like organic cotton ball um, and spray it on and then put it on your skin, but don't spray it directly because you're gonna overdo it most likely. Um, but I really like this Coco Kind is one of my favorite brands. A uh, similar product actually, um, this I really want to get a new one of this, this just reminded me. This is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray and this is just really good for irritation. It says helps soothe irritation and defend skin against daily damage from skin's everyday stressors including makeup, sweat, grime, and pollution. That was something else on that note. Um, but I really like this, especially living in LA. Um, I am obviously, like I said, not going out as much as I used to, but I am going on walks every day and I put sunscreen on when I do that, but it is really important to also protect against like the smog and the pollution here um, can definitely irritate my skin. So I really like this. So I think I'm gonna probably have to go pick up another one of these, but something similar, this actually made my skin very angry and freak out um so there's still like a good amount of product in here but this is the revive environmental antioxidant booster and this is like a liquid you can see it there um and you just take a couple of drops of this and put it into your moisturizer or your serum in the morning um to protect from same thing like the pollution and the environment but i used this one day and then i went out on a walk and my skin the next day had just like little bumps everywhere and it took a couple days to clear away and this was the only new product that i had tried so no no more of this so next up we have this drunk elephant this is the a passioni retinol cream um i think that i would repurchase this but i also am interested to try other retinols and retinol alternatives and incorporating those into my skincare routine and see how they work because I feel like I used this over such a long period of time that I didn't really give it a chance to um, see what exactly it was doing compared to other products. So I will see about that. This is my favorite vitamin C product. This is the Coco Kind Vitamin C Serum with Sea Grape Caviar. It says concentrated formula for bright, even, and hydrated skin. I love this. Smells good, feels good, doesn't irritate your skin. Vitamin C is a really great skincare ingredient to be using, um, one of my favorites, and I like using this in the morning. Always use an SPF though, because it can um, leave your skin open to you know more sun damage when you use vitamin C. So big fan of this guy. And last 
but not least this is a little tiny biosance um squalane and peptide eye gel i really like this i think that i would repurchase this in a full size um right now i'm using one from youth to the people that i really like but we'll see about purchasing this at some point down the road when i run out of that one that was all for my empties i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think about this format and like i said my blog post will be linked below with all the links to all the products as well as photos so if you miss something you can go and look there um, I will also have information about recycling your beauty products in that post because it is so so important that you do not just go and throw these things out because a lot of or just throw them into the regular recycling because a lot of them like this that are glass and then um, a plastic they're mixed materials so they can get recycled improperly if they are not properly disposed of so i would highly recommend reading up on information about that thank you so much for watching this video let me know what requests you have for future youtube videos in the comments so i can um get to work on those because i really want to keep creating more youtube content for all five of my subscribers that i have right now but I'm really happy about it regardless. I really just love making content. It makes me really happy. And like I said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.